I found most of the people in our space on YouTube talking about interest rates next year have actually been somewhat conservative in how they think they're going to go down. Yeah, the nobody wants to make the work. same mistake yeah. as last year looking but like they, a fucking idiot, right? <laughs> hmm. Well, because, I mean, rates have come down since Tom locked in, right? <laughs> yeah, they have. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. When I saw that episode and you told me, you told everybody you locked in, like that was the point where rates started dropping, right? If anybody wants to thank me for bringing down interest rates, it was thank when you. I locked into a fixed rate that it happened, really was so. right. And weren't well, you Mister Variable for like the last forever before that? And I'm still winning. My ten year horizon of variable, I'm still winning. Right. You know, I got punched in the face the last two years, but previous to that, the difference was huge. Right. Yeah, I don't know. I've never had a variable rate in my life, but like now, now, I don't know how we got onto this now, but like. What do we think is happening this year? I know you guys were making predictions like a slow, steady kind of pace down in interest rates this year. What do you think, Jordan? Yeah, I think that's probably what I mean. It's, it seems to be the general consensus, right? Um, not that the general consensus yeah. has been overly correct. We trust this years, general but... consensus of ours. Is this something that we should be relying upon? I, uh, I found most of the people in our space on YouTube talking about interest rates next year have actually been somewhat conservative in how they think they're going to go down. Yeah, the nobody wants to make the same mistake yeah. as last year looking like the, a fucking idiot, right? The banks are, have been way more aggressive in what they're saying than anybody on the internet. Right. Um, but I don't think, not that it doesn't matter what Bank of Canada does next year, but it, the bond yields, the fixed rate is going to be what moves the market for the first six months of 2024 anyways. It's not going to matter what Bank of Canada does. Oh, TK, welcome back on your phone. I guess uh, the computer fuck was the problem. I, I might be the operator, but anyways, re, re uh, we're having an internet issue with our co-host here. Well, hopefully, people are still listening. Sorry, where were we at there, guys? Um, interest rates. Interest next rates year. next year. Yeah. So can can uh, can I throw something into the pot in the conversation? Um, like from a responsible economic perspective, although we're all in real estate and we know that what happens when they drop rates will likely be another fucking crazy boom and a lot of sales for us. Um, like, is it responsible at this point in time when the, when, when things are looking kind of rocky all over the place to already be talking cuts? Like, shouldn't we hold for a little and see what happens for a bit? Probably, I but I, I couldn't really care less what's responsible. I care is what's good for my clients and what's good for me, to be mm -hmm. honest. Well, isn't like, that the same thing at the end of the day? If Maybe you look not. at a long-term horizon, perhaps. Mm -hmm. so it depends how long out we're looking, right? Yeah, do people look people long in, the real, in the real estate? estate? Like, comment, and subscribe if you got anything from one of these clips. And if you want to see some more, press something on the screen here. Boom. That was good. That was good. That was good. I like that. That was good.